I think moving here, and I say this with hand on heart, it is the best thing we have ever done. The idea of using my hands to make something and then doing our garden and then cutting flowers from the garden and putting them in a vase that I made is so rewarding and that's what I love about living up here because it's making me do things I've always wanted to do and only dreamt about. Hi, I'm Cathy Sheeran and welcome to the Northern Rivers. I live here with my husband, Mike, and my beautiful best friend, Maui. I was trying to explain to Mike how I feel about gardening. The best way for me to describe it, I said to Mike, I said, it's like when you were a kid and you'd go to sleep on Christmas Eve and you were so excited to wake up and see what Santa has put under the tree. That's how I feel about the garden. I get so excited in the morning to wake up and go up there to see what's actually fruited or blossomed and it's the exact same feeling. I had no idea about gardening. Look, I grew these and the veggies. I've made lots of mistakes, but that's part of the fun. So you are capable and you just got to back yourself and you just got to give it a crack. And if it doesn't work, get back up and try again. You'll get there eventually. Something that Mike mentioned to me after a few years of being together, and we've been together nearly 20 years now, is that his dream was to always retire up here at the Northern Rivers. And I was up for it. I'm always up for an adventure. We are both really, really unsettled in Sydney. The traffic was getting the better of us. Like sitting in a car four hours a day just to travel to and from work is ridiculous. We were both grumpy both miserable and then we sort of thought about it and thought why wait why are we waiting till we retire we've got enough aches and pains now when we get up in the morning um, why wait till we're older and here we are living through the renovation which is kind of fun but kind of not a bit over living surrounded by boxes but here we are and when we came here as soon as we pulled into our street there was something quite special about it when we drove down the driveway, I actually looked at Liam, my stepson, and at the same time, we've both just sort of gone, this is it. We just, I just knew. And what makes this build, I think, a little bit more special is that my stepson's building it. So watching Mike watch Liam build our home, I'm about to cry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, wipe the tears away and down here. Really silly. <laughs> I look back at how I've changed over the last couple of years. Probably the thing that stands out the most is you won't see me running around in stilettos anymore. And I'm wearing boots. So people who know me, I was actually known as the girl with the really good shoes when I was doing finance. I could hurdle in those things. And what I'm shopping for is a lot different. I'm a lot more conscious of what I'm buying and sustainability. And I'm now Googling um, bulbs and watering systems and companion planting and compost instead of shoes and bags. And I'm now subscribed to every gardening magazine you can think of. I've actually changed a lot.
for me, there's nothing more rewarding than going up to the garden and harvesting what you're gonna have for dinner that night, whether it be tomatoes or cucumbers or lettuce and even flowers. Like, who knew you could eat flowers? I know it's a little bit dramatic. Mike and I don't argue often, but the one thing that I used to do that used to drive him bonkers is I would never put the hose back. I would use it and just leave it on the lawn. Then he'd go to mow the lawns and he'd have to wind it all up. And he'd go, why can't you just put the hose away? Because I don't want to, and it's too hard. So if you want to mow the lawns, go and put it away. And then we got the hose link reel and it's retractable. So as soon as you finish using it, you just give it a little pull and the whole thing winds, it, winds up itself. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that is the best thing since sliced bread. Mike and I have got a great relationship, but I just think it's actually made us even closer. Like we've always been strong, but this has just given us a real appreciation for one another. And it's made us realize what each of us are capable of. And we push each other and we support each other and we encourage each other and we laugh at each other. Mike probably laughs more at me rather than with me. It's made us really tight and, and I love that. I don't want anyone else to move here because we don't want it any more crowded. <laughs>